Okay, Community Matters. This is a community advisory. I'm Jay Fidel of Think Tech. And today we're talking to uh, Marcia Joyner. She's the host of Navigating the Journey on Tuesdays. It's Tuesdays, right, Marcia? Wednesday. Wednesday. The host of Navigating the Journey on Wednesday in the morning. And uh, today we're going to talk about the, uh, the People's Walk. The People's Walk, the People's Climate Walk in Waikiki happening tomorrow, April 29th, Saturday, in Waikiki. So, Marcia, tell us everything about it, will you? Okay. It is worldwide. Um, and in Hawaii, we have March, of course, in, in Honolulu, in Waikiki, through Waikiki, uh, in uh, Kailua, Kona, and on uh, Kauai. So we are pretty good across the country. We are doing pretty good. Why is this uh, uh, march happening? What's the reason for it? It's about our climate and the fact that we have an administration, presidential administration, that is saying there is no such thing as climate change. So across the world, people are saying we are marching for our air, for our water, for our land. And if you come to Waikiki tomorrow, there is a big, big uh, poster, a billboard, I guess is what you'd call it. And you wear your goggles and you stand next to it and it shows you where you are with the height of the water, six feet high, the water expected to be in Waikiki. But of course, I'm only five feet tall, so that puts me underwater. <laughs> So let me, uh, let me just add a thought here, and that is this last week we had the March for Science uh, at the university, yeah. where people uh, at the university and people who are familiar with science and the research going on at the university marched uh, likewise in order to demonstrate to this administration, uh, the Trump administration, that he should be caring more about science and he should not be pulling the wings out of the scientific research grants as he has been doing. So this is a parallel, isn't it? The People's Climate March is about uh, Trump uh, attempts to uh, uh, deny climate change. Spring signs, of course, and it begins at 10 a.m. at the Gateway Park, which is on Kalakaua Avenue, and it's where the statue of King David Kalakaua is. And then they will march down Kalakaua Avenue to the Gandhi statue, which is at right uh, adjacent to the zoo. Yeah, it's right across from the zoo, yeah. Yeah. So is, is um, Kalakaua um, Avenue going to be dedicated to this? In other words, you know, people walk right down the, the avenue? I'm sure. No traffic or anything. It's just the, just the marchers. Yeah. I'll walk down the sidewalk. But that many people will tie up things anyway. So if, you know, and, if, 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 if this reaches you, then, um, or if you otherwise know about the march uh, for climate, uh, the People's Climate March, tomorrow on the 29th, um, then come down and make a showing and show the, the administration and show all your fellow travelers here uh, that um, we care about the climate 
And uh, Hawaii is a special place. Hawaii has special sensitivities to that. What time should they come? When is when the time they come, and when, well, what time does okay. it begin? They should they should be there by ten. I am suggesting that you park uh, at the zoo up at that end of Montserrat, and there's lots of buses that go down um, Cujillo Avenue, so you can park somewhere at the end and then uh, take a bus or walk because it's just a mile down to the uh, to the statue. Okay, From that's Marsha Joyner. She's the host of uh, Navigating the Journey on Wednesday mornings uh, on Think Tech. This is a community advisory about the uh, People's Climate March tomorrow. And if you're good, you can come and you can see Marsha and say hi. And I will. I'll see Marsha and I'll say hi. Thank you so much, Marsha. Thank you, my dear. Aloha. Aloha.